Hi, this is Brian Forster with a relatively short synopsis of our recent adventures in Egypt from April 2019 that will appear in many upcoming videos on my YouTube channel. This is the so-called village of the workers that academics believe constructed the Great Pyramid, but there's no actual evidence of that. We then explored inside the tombs of the nobles at Aswan, which are a megalithic series of constructions inside the bedrock. This is what the exterior of the tombs of the nobles look like. And here once again, there are lots of dynastic constructions, but also clear evidence of older megalithic work. And this is what the tombs of the nobles look like from the Nile River. Not many people visit the tombs of the nobles, but it is very much worthwhile. We also went to Komombo, which is a small, relatively small, dynastic construction right next to the Nile. And this is what Komombo looks like when you approach it. Probably the most fascinating thing is this ancient well that was used in ritual ceremonies during dynastic times. We also went to Edfu, which again is of dynastic period, massive columns of sandstone. <clears throat> and some rather strange depictions, as you can see here. This is one of the pharaohs defeating a foreign army. We also went into the Valley of the Kings, and now you're allowed to both photograph and film inside the Valley of the Kings, which was absolutely amazing, including the optional visit to the tomb of Tutankhamun. We also went to the Ramesseum, and here we see what remains of a sculpture of granite that originally weighed 1,000 tons. This is clearly pre-dynastic in nature due to the scale of the sculpture and the fact that it had to have been made using lost ancient high technology. As well, the Colossi of Memnon. This one on the left, the base is at least 300 tons and the sculpture itself 720 tons of one piece of stone. And Luxor, where this magnificent pre-dynastic obelisk is located, as well as massive seated figures, again made of one piece of stone. We also explored the highway in the desert in order to see this, the astonishing Osirion at Abydos. They're presently cleaning it, so it will be open for our next tour in March 2020 and the Cairo Museum, where we see lots of evidence of lost ancient high technology, such as these tube drill holes, and the village where our friend Yusuf Awiyan lives, where if you go down an alley like this, you get a glimpse of the Great Pyramid. And of course, we go to the Giza Plateau and spend plenty of time there. This is the approach to the Giza Plateau. And as you can see, the Great Pyramids rise above the modern city of Giza. And Saqqara, where we see these massive shafts going deep into the bedrock, connected to tunnels. And this is another example. You see dynastic work on top, pre-dynastic below. And of course, the astonishing Serapium at Saqqara. And also, we go off the beaten path at Saqqara and get to explore underground structures such as this.
And here, this is Dashur, where we explore the Bent Pyramid, destroyed by an ancient series of cataclysms. And this is a small satellite pyramid. And here you see the Bent Pyramid, as well as the Red Pyramid, and we get to go inside this one. We also went to Memphis, where this massive limestone sculpture of Ramses II is located. Because it's made of limestone, it's most likely a dynastic construction, whereas the pre-dynastic works tend to be in much harder stone, such as granite and basalt. But there's also this incredible Sphinx made out of travertine, and of course, the Great Pyramid. We went inside for two hours, only our group. Actually, this is the second pyramid which we went into. Just our group for two hours. We also get to and got to explore the interior of the Great Pyramid for two hours. There, of course, is the Sphinx in the background. And once again, we got exclusive access for two hours to the Osiris Shaft, which has only been open for two years so far. That takes special permission. The general public cannot enter unless they pay the fee, which we did. And we also see other shafts and parts of the ancient tunnel system, and Abu Sir and Abu Ghraib, where these massive travertine bowls are located. Including this huge hotep, made once again of travertine, and has lots of ancient machine marks that we inspected and will inspect in the future. So that's March 2020 at HiddenIncaTours.com, and these are other upcoming events. I will be at Contact in the Desert in Indian Wells, California, May 31st to June 3rd, 2019. And consider joining us on our India tour. Lots of evidence of lost ancient high-technology machine work in India.